Hey up, it's Louise. I'm coming at you today with another recent crochet projects video. Also, welcome to my living room floor again. I need to do a big tidy up, but I can't be bothered. So I'm just trying to like angle my camera away from the clutter. You're very welcome. So these are becoming a regular occurrence because I am mad into crochet. As you well know, I'm mad into crochet now. That's my personality trait. <laughs> so I'll show you some of the little bits that I've made. Sneak preview. And that's your lot. So yes, I am crochet mad. I have a real bad habit though of getting halfway through a project and being like, I'm bored of this now, I wanna start something else. And then starting something else. Um, so I currently have like three half finished projects and a whole list of things that I wanna make. And they're just sort of lying around the house and my partner and the cats are screaming at me saying, Louise, get your sticks together. And I'm also screaming at myself, like, get your sticks together. Such is life. So <laughs> here's a couple of bits I've made. I have to finish them so then I can make a video about them. And then that validates me. I validate myself. So I'll show you some of the little bits that I've made. I've got five little bits. This is quite a short one. Not not a lot to talk about, just a few bits. So, as you well know, I've been crocheting like a mad woman. I think I'm slightly above beginner now. I'm not quite intermediate, but I'm not like total noob. So I thought I would try my hand at, is it amagurumi? The like Japanese one where you're like crocheting the round, you make like little like cute little round guys and little plushes and stuff. So I thought I would give that a go doing all right i've not done anything that's like too like fancy too fandangled too complex but what i've made i'm like that's kind of cute this is kind of nice i'll show you my first bit that i made this makes me so happy this guy uh i made my little froggy friend isn't he stunning <laughs> he's winking as well i did the eyes wrong but he's adorable squishy little squishy guy I love him so much. I love him to bits. He's so cute. <laughs> I'm chuffed with him. He's really cute. And he's stuffed with scrap yarn. Squish, 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 squish. I like him a lot. I love him, in fact. Uh, <laughs> I also made this guy. So these, they're called for like safety eyes, but I don't, I'm like, I'm not buying eyes. So this guy just sort of stitched haphazardly eyes on but then this guy I st stuck some buttons on he's made a jellyfish isn't he cute and he's smiling this yarn I got like a big ball of it in the charity shop for it was like two pounds or something isn't this adorable I actually I low-key love him so he lives like there's like a guitar hung up on the door over there so he lives like on there he's the little guardian of the guitar the bottom is not cute but the top is cute yeah the bottom's kind of a mess but don't look at that you froggy friend and you jellyfish friend i love those they're adorable and my last little attempt at the amagurumi i don't even know if i'm saying that right please correct me if i'm wrong uh i made a little cat toy. I just finished this today, actually. I'm having fun with it. Uh, so I got some footage of it before it got destroyed by the cats. And I will also insert the footage of Reg enjoying it because um, it's now like all gross and got cat hair and he sort of chewed it a little bit. But um, <laughs> I was making a ball and um, then when I stuffed the like scraps inside, there was this bit of like green yarn um, scrap that was coming up through the top so I was like hmm it's a satsuma now or like a ta tangerine or clementine like an easy peel like an orange fruit uh so I made this and I stuffed it with yarn scraps and catnip and Reg loves it I will put some footage in of him just losing his mind going absolutely bonkers wonkers going bananas over his orange I love this. My hard work and he's just chewed it. Kids are so ungrateful. 
let me try and get a nice a nice shot of my little ball slash satsuma before the cats absolutely wreck it it was just supposed to be a ball but um after i stuffed it i realized there was some like green yarn at the top so i just stuff all my little amigurumis with uh just yarn scraps so i thought it could be a satsuma or a tangerine or something i will get live reactions from the cats now Richie, a satsuma for my satsuma boy Reg, don't, why, don't destroy it. I just made that for you, sweetheart. No. <laughs> why? The catnip's too good. <laughs> Reggie, no. <laughs> Reg, no, you're going crazy. Babe, don't do that. Reggie. This is why we can't have nice things, eh? Look at what you've done. I slaved over a crochet hook making this for you. You don't even care. You don't even care, do you, fat lad? Huh? Live reaction from Pee Pee. Red just crying because he wants it. Huh? Oh, okay. You're not impressed? You're rude and you're dusty. You're rude and you're dusty. You don't want your toy. I just, I made it for you, honey. I don't know if it's because Reg has slavered all over it, but she's not, not interested. Okay. Suit yourself. Be like that. Grumpy bum. This boy is catnip crazy. <laughs> is it nice? Is it nice? That's good. You appreciate my work, darling. No one else does. Hey? Handsome man. Another little cat creation. I made um, this fancy little neckerchief bandana. I could wear it. But I made it for the cats. Uh, and it's rainbow. Excuse me? And uh, they hate it. I got the pattern from Cat Venturous Crochet, which is where I also got the pattern for their little cat hat from. And they hate it. They hate it less than they hate the hat, but I still don't like it. But I'm gonna keep making stuff for them because they think they look really cute. And I also have some footage to insert of the cats hating the little bandana as well. Hi, tree girl. Do you like your bandana that mama made you? Oh yeah, she loves it. Look how happy she is. <laughs> why do you, <laughs> why do you cower from me and my crochet, my love? Huh? I think you look stunning. I think you look beautiful. <laughs> She's so done. Reggie boy is a lot more receptive to my crochet. I don't think he likes it as much as my little crochet catnip toy I made him, but I think he looks handsome. You like it better than your, your hat that I made though, don't you darling? Big lad. Just rubbing on everything. Gorgeous young man in his little rainbow bandana. <laughs> and my final creation. I told you this was a quick one. I say that, I'm probably going to put like 25 minutes of cat clips in it. I made myself a little bag. I haven't weaved in all the ends. <laughs> this little wavy bag. I deviated from the pattern slightly. I don't know, I went wrong. So I used a pattern, like a video by Ali Nicole. And I sort of lost my way. So then I just started winging it. So it's not the same as hers, but it's heavily <laughs> influenced by. But yeah. And I forgot how to do the straps because she does like a decrease and I forgot how to do it. So I ended up just doing like an extra wide strap. But like, how cute, how cute is this? Put my little bits in it. Ooh, ah, matches my swirl trousers as well. <laughs> oh, that was cute. 
the blue and the orange together. We love that. Yeah, it's sturdier than my other attempt because I think I've used um, like a smaller crochet hook, but I thought that was nice. I think she's cute. I think she's nice. So <laughs> again, these are my recent crochet mags. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you on the next one with more crochet bounty, probably. Goodbye, guys.